Am I the idiot? H for telling my husband that his affair child is not welcome in our home, and if he wants custody he will have to move out. My husband and I have been married for 9 years. In 2021, we found out my husband was being sued for child support. Turns out my husband had an affair shortly after we were married. It nearly ended our marriage, but we went to counseling together and I agreed to stay in the marriage with the following provisions. My husband was to get a second job so that his child support payments did not affect our household budget and that at no point in time would I ever consider having a relationship with his child. If he wanted to pursue one with them, fine. But I have absolutely zero interest in this kid. So, my husband has been getting to know his kid over the past couple years and recently my husband came to me and informed me that there was some sort of baby mama drama. Apparently, she has to self-surrender and may and is going to be incarcerated for 8 months. My husband told me that he needed to take custody while his affair partner is locked up, otherwise the kid would have to go to their grandparents who basically live on the opposite coast from us. Their kid doesn't want to have to change schools or be so far away from their friends, dad and mom she will be doing her time fairly local to us. So. After my husband told me that, I got up and left the house. I went to the grocery store on the corner and grabbed a copy of our area's apartment guide went back home and handed it to him. He asked if I were serious. I told him I still felt the same way as I did three years ago. He said he didn't think that was fair considering the extenuating circumstances. I told him I don't care about the circumstances. His kid is not welcome in my home, if he wanted to take custody, I will grant him an amicable divorce, but I am not changing my mind. I am not taking care of some other chick's kid. Added for all the people concerned about what a whipcracker I am in making my poor husband work two jobs. He has never had a full-time job since we have been together. He works two part-time retail jobs now that add up to 40-50 hours a week. He currently only has supervised visitation with his kid. The see each other once or twice a month for a couple hours with a social worker present. And for those who seem to think that I need to be the one to file for divorce. No. I will not. I am not the one who created this situation. If my husband wants to pursue custody, I have told him I will not fight it. I will grant him an amicable divorce and let him be on his way. However, I am not going to waste my own time, energy, and money to do so he is responsible for getting his own ducks in a row for the situation he created. That includes being the one to go through the headache of filing. Now for the comments commenter 1 What's funny is getting a second job will increase his child support payments as well original poster Yep it certainly did but now he is still able to contribute the same amount to our household that he was contributing before instead of having to pay his CS out of the amount our household budget was based on. I wasn't making financial sacrifices for a kid I didn't consent to. So, he had to pick up a second part-time job he works two part-time jobs now equaling to 40-50 hours per week comment or two not the idiot. You were clear. Now he's trying to convince you to change your mind. If he wants custody during this, he can do it alone. What is the legal status on the house? Original poster the house is owned by me outright. It was a premarital asset inherited from my grandparents, and we have a prenup that protects my ownership of it. Commenter 3 Not the idiot I love this for you you made your boundaries clear and now he can't keep his side of the bargain. You aren't telling him not to be a father, but if his affair child has to live with him, then he can't live with you. Original poster yes. This is basically it. I never even wanted to have kids of my own. Commenter 4 Wow, he picked a winner to procreate with she's going to fecking prison? Not the idiot. I wouldn't want that kid around. I wouldn't want anything to do with any of it. Original poster Federal Prison for Drugs Commenter 5 AL Significant Other, what's with him only having supervised visits with a kid at this point in time? That is usually due to some legal issue in his background that does not bode well either. Original poster that was what the court mandated at the time that is usually due to some legal issue in his background that does not bode well either. Let's just say I am not surprised that someone from his crowd ended up in jail. My husband does have a history, he has an untreated condition that leads to higher rates of impulsivity, addiction, etc. He has been clean for the most part since we have been together, except for a time shortly after we married where he had a relapse following the death of someone close. That is around the time the affair happened. I didn't know about the affair at the time, but I knew about the other troubles. I got him in rehab, and we worked through that rough patch. Commander 6 Why can't the kid go to the grandparents? Original poster they can. I'm guessing that my husband's savior complex has popped up. Kid is sad about having to move cause mom is going to jail. Husband is trying to fix it without actually thinking things through ongoing issue with him he's only spent around 100 hours or so with his kid. He's never had them overnight or ever really even cared for them. He's only done visitation and fun outings. Commander 7 How is someone who is only allowed supervised visitation a couple times a month for a few hours, suddenly getting custody? Original poster fuck if I know. 
I have zero to do with any of that. All I know is my husband meets with his kid with a social worker and then one day he told me baby mama was going to jail and if he didn't take them in, kid was going to their grandparents. I wouldn't put it past my husband to part the cart before the horse. He might not even legally be able to get custody right now. All I know is he said he wanted his kid to live here while baby mama is locked up. Commenter 8 The grandparents raised the mother who had an affair with a married man and is going to jail. That doesn't sound like people I'd trust a child with. Original poster but you would trust my husband? The man who had an affair and was romantically involved with a criminal? The grandparents have been in the kid's life a lot longer than my husband has been. Commenter 9 Girl, you stayed married to him. What do you mean, smiley face, original poster I love him. I would never have kids with him in some alternate universe where I wanted them I don't trust him to look after the dogs by himself. He has executive functioning issues. Like, kind of severe ones. They are an annoyance to me, but I am an adult capable of taking care of myself. It would. Not be good. To be a person who is dependent on my husband. He is fun to be around, but not reliable. Commenter 10 How severe are we talking? Do you think he or the court could be convinced to send the kid the grandparents if he can't be trusted to keep his own kid safe? Original poster untreated and fairly severe ADHD. Not the occasional forgetfulness and the having trouble focusing kind but the kind that comes along with emotional dysregulation, impulsivity, addiction, hyperfixation to the point of self-neglect, etc. Be sitting alone at school for hours because he lost track of time and when those teenage hormonal outbursts from the kid hit, he is the kind of person who would stoop to their level and make it an all-out screaming match I've seen that shit with his nephew's commenter 11 why are you married to this person? Everyone deserves someone who can be a true partner to the original poster he's super fun and has great energy and makes me smile every day. No, he is not full partner material, but I realize that I don't need that in order to be fulfilled in a relationship commenter 12 why would you stay married? Original poster love and companionship. The affair and my boundaries about his affair child aside, we actually really do love each other. Commenter 13 I feel like although your husband is the off for putting you in this position. You are handling it like the ought to. If this is how you felt so strongly you should have divorced him. You expect your husband to go to everything alone? Graduations? Weddings? Holidays? I feel bad for the kid. Original poster you expect your husband to go to everything alone? Graduations? Weddings? Holidays? Yep. I told him I would not be a part of the kid's life. If he wanted to stay married to me, he would have to accept that. Otherwise, we would pursue divorce. He begged me not to divorce and said he wanted to fix our relationship. Yep. The kid got dealt a shitty ducking hand. But. Not my kid. Not my responsibility. Is where I'm at. Update. One month later after posting, my husband and I continued to discuss the situation. I held firm and iterated again I will not live with a child and if my husband wants to pursue this, he will have to find other housing we discussed divorce. We discussed temporarily separating. We discussed a lot. We sat down and had a pretty big financial talk he is not involved in our financial planning I showed him the numbers he realistically had to work with. I told my husband the truth, that while I love him, I won't lose sleep if we divorce. He has to do what's right for his own happiness and his kid. My husband had a bit of a breakdown over that. There was a lot of crying in him telling me that he loved me and didn't want to lose me. I broke down myself. We had a real good cry together. He asked if we could go back to our marriage counselor. So, I made an appointment. We went. We discussed the same things above but with a counselor present. It basically boils down to my husband being very overwhelmed and conflicted about everything. He confessed he didn't really want to be an active parent but feels like he is supposed to there's some deep stuff in there about his own family and race tied into that. So complicated emotions. He is terrified of losing me. He wants to prioritize our marriage. Hearing me say that I wouldn't lose sleep over divorcing left him shook. Our counselor strongly suggested that my husband get into individual therapy and gave some referrals. My husband has not pursued that. It did become pretty obvious to my husband that he was not in a place mentally or financially where he could take full custody though. So, the kid is now in Virginia with maternal grandparents. My husband was actually going to go and visit the kid for their birthday this weekend. I gifted my husband some of my airline miles to buy his plane ticket. I did his laundry last night while he was at work, so he'd have clean stuff to pack. However, my husband dropped the ball on his trip. I had a plan for this afternoon that I left early for so I wasn't home when he was supposed to get up and leave. He stayed up late playing video games last night and overslept. Ended up missing his flight and couldn't afford last minute tickets on another. He's in a prissy mood and is playing Elder Scrolls now trying to get his mind off of it. 
I've got my sister and some friends coming over in a few for a salsa canning party in a bit so I'm hoping he gets into a good grove with his game because I am going to have so much margarita. Now, for the comments. Commenter 1 he's terrified of losing you, but also won't do anything to better his own mental state and somehow make some sense of this situation by going to individual therapy. He intentionally sabotages his own trip to see his kid, after you literally gave him everything to make it happen and now he's playing games and not contributing to preparing for a dinner party. It honestly sounds like he's trying to wear you down, so you just agree to let the kid move in, without him doing anything. Original poster and not contributing to preparing for a dinner party? While you have very valid points, this one is not a fault of his. He actually did offer to help, and he did all of the heavy lifting to get it set up yesterday when I asked. He wasn't supposed to be here tonight. So, he isn't invited to this party. It is a girl's night thing. My friends and I bought a few packs of tomatoes, jalapenos and onions from the farmer's market and are getting together to make and can salsa together. We all share the chopping and dicing while having a few drinks and snacks then when it's all done, we each get several jars of salsa. Lots of shade can be thrown at my husband, but not helping prepare for dinner and stuff is not one of them.